Hello folks and welcome back to another video. In this week's video you may be able to tell but we're at Cowden Beef Racewall for my first meeting of the 2024 season. I can't wait, I'm finally out. It's absolutely soaking out there but should be good fun and the car's had a bit of a makeover. So the car's not been professionally signed written or it's not got any numbers on it or that but it freshens up the car a bit and it hides some of the dents. Going to go out now and go out for heat one. Let's see how it goes. And now it's time for the first heat. I'm starting from the back of the blue grade so we'll see how I get on. <laughs> While I was sitting waiting for the race to start, I was properly nervous, but I was going to give it my best shot. And off the line in first gear I was getting zero traction, so I put it straight into second and we managed to get away. Coming out of the pit bend, the 17 car clips the 348 car and the 17 car goes straight into the wall. It just goes to show how slippery the track is in these conditions. We managed to keep going though and we're catching up towards the lower graders. get down the inside of the number 7 car and it puts me up into 6th place. Unfortunately up ahead the 46 car goes straight on into the wall and it puts me up into 5th place. The car feels really good and it's handling great. It feels like a completely different car to what we took out in January. Skipping a few laps ahead and going into the last lap, I was catching up to the 363 car ahead but I couldn't quite make it. But I managed to hold on to that 5th place for the rest of the lap and I was really happy with that, especially with it being my first race of the season. I'm just back in for the first heat, went pretty well, I was getting decent traction even though it's absolutely soaking out on the track, um, managed to get a fifth, so top five, which is pretty decent for my first meeting of the year, but um, it started raining again just after we got back in, um, so it'll be even wetter than before, but we'll see how it goes, so let's Aiden, try the second heat. How about you the start of the show of the night? Because You're usually just doing it for everybody else. Can they beat me like? <laughs> <laughs> With a confident end to the interview, it was time for the second heat. I was starting one position higher this race, so let's see how I get on in this one. And somehow, I missed second gear, even with that massive gear stick. What a rookie error. Quickly managed to get into second gear though, and we were away. The 
the rain in between heat one and heat two makes the track a bit more slippy. I get a bit of opposite lock there, but manage to control it. Move to the outside line on the corner to let the 348 car through. However, after letting him through, I'm managing to keep up with him. I almost get down the inside of him on the corner, but I'm just losing him down the straights. I get even closer that time, but it's just not enough. battling with the 348 car, we managed to catch up to the cars in front. on the back end of the 363 car now and really need to get through. And luckily for me, the 363 car gets blocked off by the back marker number 7 car and it lets me through. slowly but surely catching up to the 14 car in front. leaves the inside line open going into the track shop bend and I get past. A spun out car on the home straight allows me to catch back up to the leaders. It's the last lap and I'm catching up to the black Ford car, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get past them for third place. And it's just not enough to get the third place. Maybe with one more lap I would have got it, but I'm still happy with the fourth place. Oh, that was a blast, man. And with a very positive end to the second heat, it was time for the final.
this one, I'm starting on the outside of the front row in 5th place. <laughs> with a much better start that time and actually get it into second gear. I'm away right at the front of the blues so I've got to catch up to the yellow roofs now. A few laps later, I'm catching up to the yellow car in front, but I've got a lot of pressure behind me. Getting closer to the 363 car, but you can see the higher graded cars behind me. And unfortunately for me, the 348 car gets round outside of me and they get past. I was literally on the back end of the 363 car going round there, but I managed to make the move on the outside. I'm past the 363 car, but because the 348 car passed us, I'm still in fourth. Skipping forward to having three laps to go, I've got cars right behind me and I managed to get the move done down the inside of the 14 car. Once again catching up to the black Ford car, but I'm having to keep it super defensive because I've got the 65 car right behind me. And coming out the track shop bend for the last time, I try and keep that inside line to keep it defended as much as possible. With the last few yards to get third place, the 65 car comes round outside and takes third place. I'm struggling for traction to keep it on the inside line and just clip the 65 car, but it's still an amazing finish to the night. Even in the pouring rain, I had an absolute blast. Me and my dad chose the right tyres and the car went very well. And a big thanks to any of you guys that came up to me on Saturday night and said hello. So you joined me on the Sunday after the racing. I'd say it went pretty well last night. Ended up getting a fifth in two fourth places. So not bad going from Blue Roof and it being my first meet of the year. So aye. Even though the track was absolutely soaking, I still had a really good time. And I had plenty of grip as well eh, as I had a full city of Unirail Rain Sports on. And the car still looks pretty good. Could do a wee wash, like, but what an absolute blast that was. So thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. Please like this video, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new or you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.